In this advanced rigging tutorial, we are learning about how to create selection icons or selection handles as some would like uh, to call them. And at the moment, I've traced some of the icons that I want to go and position here on a separate drawing layer. So they're all on the same one. I have a little icon for the head. I have one with the tie that will essentially group up the head, the color, and the tie together because my character has, um, um, sometimes if I move the head, it's going to move out of the collar. So maybe I would want to move both at the same time. If we remember, I have a peg that groups up my collar, tie, and head. So this will be good for that. I have one for each hand that will select both the hand and the fingers as well. And I want one for that little line that is a little bit hard to uh, select when you're a little bit zoomed out of your character. So when I select this circle, I'll be able to select the line. Um, first thing I'm going to do after, of course, tracing uh, this icon map um, drawing layer right here is I'm going to start drawing individual uh, drawing layers for each of these icons. I'll do all of them except the lines of the pants right here. Uh, we'll do something a little bit different for that, so we'll keep those on the icon map. Um, I'm going to select um, create a new drawing, so either select the icon right here or press Control R to come and create one. Um, I'll name them SEL for selector underscore and then you can name them after the different icons that you have here. So I have hand front, hand back, I'll have one for the head and collar right here. So as I mentioned, we're going to leave these out for now. So I have my new nodes right here that have been created. And for now, I'm going to connect them to my master comp right here. We'll reconnect them after we've pasted in the information of the drawings. Um, so I, I, right now I know that I don't have any uh, peg information inside of my character. Otherwise, I might want to connect these transformation ports just to make sure that it doesn't get modified once I go and connect them. So I'm going to take my select tool and come and grab each of these icons and paste them in the appropriate layer. So I've got my hand back, copy and paste, go back to my icon map, cut and front paste. Got my little head right here. Paste it in and the tie that will be the collar selector right here. So now I have information inside all of these. You can extend the exposure by going to the last frame and pressing F5 so that they show on every frame that you have in your character. Here we go. Now I'm going to take the hand back. You can unconnect it, bring it over to where your hand back is located. So mine is about here. And I'm going to connect this module or this node to the uh, peg that controls both the hand and the fingers. So that would be this one for me. I'm going to connect it over here and plug it in at the top of my structure right there. So now I have this. So you come and connect this over to your hand and fingers, connect it on top. I have it here. Um, what you want to do next is start connecting the other ones. So I'm going to bring the head, connect it above my head comp, 
and I wanted to select the entire head so full head right here and hand front that is going all the way up here that is hand back hand and fingers connect this above right here and I have my last one that is the color and this will be this one and here we go so now whenever I select one of these handles if I select the head um, I'll be able to right away animate the entire thing if I move up a level or if I select the tie, now I'll be able to select the color with the tie. By selecting this handle, I'm able to move the hand. So it's keeping the pivot information, it's keeping uh, the exact same thing as it would if you were to select the peg of the element in question. Um, now the only thing that might be a little bit tricky is if I go and render my scene. Now as you can see I see those handles and that's not necessarily something I want. I don't want to uh, leave the animators the job of having to see every single time if they've turned off all of these icons, especially if you have multiple ones, um, that, can be, that can get a little bit annoying. So what I'm going to do is go inside of my node library right here and I'm going to go get a little something called the visibility node. So you can type it up here if you don't have it. Um, I suggest you bring it into your favorites folder inside of your node library because this can be quite useful. So I'm going to bring that in. Um, I have one port at the top, one port at the bottom so I can just press alt and connect it underneath the selector just like that and if I go to my layer properties so the little yellow box right here I don't have that many options inside this one I have display in OpenGL view so this is that view right here if I uncheck it I won't be able to see the information and I have soft render which is my render view. So if I go over to my render, if I uncheck soft render, it will not render out in the final product, but you'll be able to see it in OpenGL view. So this is what we want at the moment. So I can either come and bring in a new visibility node for each selector, or I could copy this one, copy and paste, connect it underneath. And I'm going to go over to the hand selector, paste it here, connect it, go over to the other one, paste and connect. Um, make sure that you render out your scene, um, your little frame, just to be able to see that you did it properly. So I'm not seeing any of these icons. Of course, I'm still seeing these two right here that I haven't worked with just yet. So we're getting to that right now. I'm going to go back to my icon map. I'm going to cut these away and go to the lines of my pants. All right. So in this one, I have everything over on the line art. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to um, create my handle on the overlay layer. So it could be any layer right now. I'm just going to choose the overlay because I have it as a free layer that doesn't have any information in there. So I'm going to come and paste it here. Select the other one for my back pant line paste it over on this one. You can turn on the uh, preview all art layers if you're not sure if you positioned it in the right way just to be able to see what exactly where exactly you've positioned it. So 
So I have it here right now. I am not seeing anything. Why? Right now I am not seeing anything. Why is that? It is because I have color overrides filtering the information that I have in here. So I'm not seeing anything over here. I'm going to go grab my overlay layer right here. Connect it under the pant line front and connect it above. Again, we need to have a visibility layer for this right here because otherwise I will be able to see it. So connect the visibility node, connect it under here. So this avoids having a yet another module, another node that would be in there. Um, and at the same time, it allows for the uh, for the handle to follow with the drawing. So it can be a good and a bad thing um, if I had uh, if I have the handle of the hand right here right now on both the quarter front and front view they're using the same handle. So the exact same information. Um, if my character was turning over to the side view maybe it could become an asset to have the handle linked to the drawing because uh, if my character were to turn over to the side view his hand would be here but the handle would still be over on this side so it could get a little bit confusing. That is the useful thing with having a handle that is linked to the drawing but then you need to remember that when you get to another drawing you need to make sure that you have another handle ready for this one. So I would go and copy this one here go to my other drawing, paste it, maybe move it a little bit so that it is in a in a more appropriate position. So now you can see the handle changes with every position of my character. Um, so now I have to make the other one pat line back. I'm just going to move this over to the side a little bit, bring in my overlay, connect, put it at the top, and I had my drawing over on the quarter front view only. I'm going to bring in a visibility node. Always remember to bring it in. So connect your visibility node in here. You have everything that you need. If you render, you shouldn't see any information for that. So once that is done, you can come and copy your handle, go over to your front view, paste it, easy as that you have the pant lines for your character's pants right here. So I wouldn't create too many handles necessarily, um, you don't want to uh, have a character that is too confusing but definitely for pieces that are hard to select for um, pieces that you need to often go up and down the hierarchy um, it is a very good asset. So I will let you guys create these and I will see you in the next step.